We're gonna have a wheelie plow throw down. What's up guys? Do y'all remember last week when I did the video about the wheelie plow? Let me let me show you something. Look, look, look what came in the mail today. The guys over there at Hoss Tools who make wheelie plows saw my video. They love the video. But they love their product and loved it so much and I guarantee that this sucker here can outperform the wheelie plow I got. Well, we're gonna find out today. We're gonna have a wheelie plow throw down today. Let's put this together. I can tell you right off the bat, it's gonna be a little bit different between these because they didn't send me two plows. This is one. Just to just got two wheels. It's not a unicycle like mine. This thing came with linseed oil, a sanding sponge, a file, and the wrench it goes to it. So I already got a leg up. That's sort of like them little details that are just a little bit impressive. Woo. That's double the size of the hole attachment I got on my other one. Step one, place dust caps B. I can't see any dust cap. This is what happens when you don't properly read the directions all the way. It says to put the linseed oil on first. Let's go ho. Oh. Gonna put some gardening clothes on and we fixing to do this. gonna compare that hoss to the plow that I already been using for the last four or five years and that is the Earthway High Wheel plow. Now I bought this one from a local feed store here in town but we're gonna see if it's worth it if there's a big difference between the two. Obvious right off the bat the main difference is is the wheels. This is a dual wheel but a much smaller wheel than this one. This is more like a high wheel plow I guess you would call it. The main thing you can do with this one is, is you can go in between your rows. This one you couldn't do that with. The other main difference is how your attachments are, are um, put on or hooked up on the plow itself. With this setup, you got two, two bolts here, then another bolt here. You have to loosen all this up. This one is just two bolts, pops out really fast. This one is going to take a little more time. Yeah, but you know, how much time? We're gonna set a timer and see actually what the difference is between swapping the attachments out. So basically 425. Now let's see what the uh, hoss does. The beat. 221. So almost half half the time. I doubt that would be a big deal breaker for me, but I just wanted you to see the difference. Attachment wise, it's, it's not even close. The Hulse has so many attachments for it. The one I got has hoe attachment on it. The cultivate attachments, which 
or separated. Whatever setup you wanted for you for, for cultivating. This one has a single plow on it. Paul's came with a double plow. You can reverse it and make your heels with it. Can't do that with this one. Then it comes. This is almost like a hoe, but they call it a sweep. You can put it on there like this, and you can do one side. You can do it like this, spread it out. I even even the, even in the book, I saw you can even get a get a disc attachment for it. Get a drip tape layer attachment for it. Dribble wheel. You can get a cedar attachment for it. But if you didn't need all those bells and whistles, you know you may you may could get by with with a single high wheel plow like this one. Let me do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the difference between the hoss and the earthway with the cultivators. The hoss cultivator is way bigger, way thicker, less likely to bend or move on you compared to the uh, earthway. But, but, let's go see if there's a big difference in, in the, uh, the performance. Now, when did we weed this bed? Was it last? It was last week. I know it was last week. Look at this thing again. That's weeds in my okra. Lots of it. Right off the bat, the first thing I noticed is, is the earthway just goes, it goes way deeper. I mean, it goes way deeper. It's almost like a darn tip. The other thing that I noticed the difference was is my property is on a hill. So my garden, my garden goes down like this on the hill. So that dual wheel really helped me stay stable. With the earthway, I tend to kind of drift and then and then it kind of wants to fall over me a little bit and i'm fighting it i didn't really pay attention to that when i've been using it for so long until i tried the dual wheel and it may not be that bad if i wasn't on the hill with the earthway it looks like it's only going about this deep with the hoss it's going it's going this deep easily so it, it, it's probably double if not triple the depth so let's switch over and let's put the hoe attachment on it same thing same test just gonna run it through the rows and see if there's a big difference in them. All right, now that test it was it, it was a, it was closer than the uh, the cultivator test. And the main advantage is is that hoss hoe just goes a good bit deeper. You know, basically, basically to me the best explanation between the two is is the hoss has more power. It's like the hoss uses your power, gets more out of your energy than the earthway does. I'm just gonna finish it off with the hoss. I've done this garden a many a times with this high wheel plow that I've had for four or five years. Whew, I had to take another break. Gotta stay hydrated. It's not even summer yet. Good Lord. So what's my final assessment? Well, right off the bat, it's, it's just a better made plow. It's thicker metal. There's no movement to it. There's no, there's nothing's gonna bend, that kind of thing. Well, come on girl, tell me what you think. What you gotta say to anybody? Anything? No? Okay. Um, the, the attachments are easier to go on and off of. This thing has got a way more attachments than this one does. You know, what it boil, really boils down to is, is your budget, honestly. Now, they make a single wheel that's going to be cheaper than the double wheel. 
And if you're interested in their equipment, go over to HossTools.com and see what all they have. And they may have one in your budget. So go check them out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this Willie Plow video today. Hey, okra season's coming up. So y'all people out there that's going to have a whole bunch of okra and kind of don't know what to do with it, check out my okra pancakes recipe video right over here. And if you like our channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Y'all be good. <laughs>